So this is the famous George Foreman grill that you've always heard about. In case you don't have one, this is the way it looks. I'm going to open the top. This is the double size. This will cook about three or four hamburgers. And the thing that you really need for a George Foreman grill is this clip out cooking thing. Because you can put these in the dishwasher and you can scrub them. And the ones that uh, it's all one piece are really hard to clean. So if you get a George Foreman grill, invest in one with the removable plates. Okay, we're going to cook something in just a minute. I use the uh, George Foreman for a lot of home grilling. Uh, it's especially good with burgers, and that's what we're cooking tonight. We've got it preheated. You can tell by the little pile of light. And we have the grease catcher pan in place. So uh, let's get to those burgers. Got a couple of nice Aldi's patties here. And um, they've been salted and peppered a little bit. Listen to that sizzle. Here's a little of my special ingredient. I'm going to talk about this in another video, but it's uh, Conrico Creole seasoning. It's good on everything. And before we put the top down, a few onions on these things. Get them grilled too. So there you go. Because this is cooking from both directions, it cooks pretty fast. And uh, you should get some good burger results here. So I don't really time this. I just look at these burgers to see when they done, they're done. And they're ready. I'm going to leave them on the heat and throw on a little uh, something. Some cheese with some specks of something in it there. And let that melt a little while for our cheeseburgers. So that's the intro to the George Foreman. You can grill just about anything you can think of on this baby. And you can make those little fake panini sandwiches that are so cool and um, lots of good stuff. So get yourself one.